Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Robert from Helton's Computer Repair here with a video for you. So I've made a video in the past that pretty much shows you how to pretty much download and install VMware Workstation Player in Windows 10. It's a very useful system used for virtual computers and you can pretty much, pretty much create like Linux system if you wanted to, another Windows, any type of system that needs to be virtual, an Android, virtual Android system on there can be done too. But regardless, if you do not want this, or let's say we're not a big fan of VMware and you want to use maybe like VirtualBox from Oracle, or technically possibly that you decided to find out that your computer has Hyper-V compatibility because your Windows technically is a pro version, so you can actually enable that feature, then we understand. So on this video, we're pretty much going to be showing you how to uninstall VMware Workstation Player in Windows 10. Let's go ahead and get started. So pretty much the first thing you do is go ahead and go to start and when you get to start you just have to go to settings and once settings comes up go ahead and choose apps. A list of apps will pretty much load and what you really need to do is just scroll down into you see VMware and not all the way to the bottom but close to the bottom you'll probably look for it and here is VMware player. All you have to do instead of selecting uninstall you'll press modify and it brings you up to this screen right here. If it comes to a point that pretty much if you don't have the option going to settings that it doesn't want to be shown. This pretty much does happen pretty often. I don't know why this really does that, but Windows 10 likes to get a glitch. So in case you don't see it there, you can probably just go to start and you can probably just type in um, VMware and you'll see the application. Then you can pretty much right click on it and select uninstall. And I'll take you pretty much to the programs and features that is right here. And you'll select it and press change to do that work. Now, an odd reason that you don't know how it's in there and it didn't create shortcuts, but you do know the program's there, then you can probably just go to type in to search bar and type in control panel. I just typed in control. And this should be your current layout. If not, you might have an old layout to look something like this. Just switch it to the most recent one. And from there, you can choose programs or you can choose uninstall program. They'll pretty much get you to the same place. And you'll pretty much see VMware player selected and you'll press change and it'll pretty much bring up to the same location right here. So once you get to this part right here, it tells you that the welcome to the VMware workstation setup wizard is not really a setup. It's kind of like the program that allows it to install or uninstall, however you want to do or modify. What we're pretty much going to do is press next and it tells us if you want to change, repair or remove, we're going to choose the remove. From there, it tells us that there's safe following VMware configurations. If you want to save the following information, I don't need to save them. So technically, I could just uncheck them and press next. And it tells us click the remove, blah, blah, blah. Pretty much you get rid of the program. So let's go ahead and press remove and let it do its work. Right here, it did come up with the prompt. Go ahead and press yes. And it's pretty much doing its work, validating install. Uninstalling the virtual network drivers. That's actually pretty useful. That's been used pretty often for this program. And it's removing the rest that we don't really need. And the program just pretty much got removed. Uh, possibly on your computer, depending on how your condition is, it might probably prompt you to restart. If it does, go ahead. But pretty much the program is uninstalled. If I go to start and if I look for it right now, I do not see it. I'm going to go ahead and go to settings. And we're going to look for apps and I do not see it in this list anymore. So the next one, just in case, if it was not being shown there, I'm going to go ahead and just type in control panel. I just typed in control programs and technically you'll get to programs and features, same thing. And here we are. I do not see this list. So the program is pretty much uninstalled. Thanks for watching from Helton's Computer Repair and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store, link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.